Hello, uh, welcome. Um, so hopefully you guys have just uh, looked at this slide, Contrast and Contradictions, and watched Olaf. Now, uh, Contrast and Contradictions are about things or words or actions that the character does that is both um, unusual to the character or um, the um, overall sort of what we expect from that type of character. So for instance, um, in um, Little Red Riding Hood, we would not expect the wolf to be a vegetarian, right? That would be a contrast and contradiction for what we sort of expect about wolves. And so if all of a sudden uh, we find out through the book, uh, wait a minute, this wolf is a vegetarian, we would have to stop and sort of ask ourselves, you know, what does that contradiction mean? What does that tell us about the character? What might we predict later in the story? Or let's take a different story, Jack and the Beanstalk. The whole story, Jack is trying to get this golden goose. He's trying to get the golden goose. Um, a contrast is um, um, halfway uh, through stealing the goose, golden goose, he stops, turns around, and for some reason decides to give it to the giant, right? This would be a contradiction, both in what we would expect uh, a young thief of such nature and of in the story, right? The contradiction would be um, um, stopping um, in the middle of kind of what he has been doing all along. So the characters can contradict themselves or they can kind of contradict expectations. Okay, so I wanna kind of go through um, what's going on with Olaf here. Uh, we watch Olaf and obviously this is a contradiction. So I'm gonna go ahead and present, let's see what we can do here. Um, so we see Olaf and what you're gonna do as you're going to go to the next slide. Oops, there it is. Um, and I just put a quote from this song, right? Uh, probably getting gorgeously tanned, right? Uh, the page number of the chapter is a song. So this is a thing, uh, a, a graphic organizer to kind of help us think through the contrast and contradictions. So we find a direct quote from the text. And then we kind of have to explain what was unexpected about this action or feeling. And so I've written a sentence, but it's a fairly complex sentence. This is an unexpected part of the song or movie because as a snowman, he should fear sun. Yet in this song, he wants to be in the sun and has no idea that he will melt, right? So this is what is unexpected. Um, sometimes what is unexpected is a little bit more nuanced. And we're gonna get to that when we start reading our short stories. So why do you think the character acted slash felt that way? How does this shape or change the character? Any predictions? So now I want to sort of say, what does this all do, right? What does this tell us about the character? Olaf acted felt this way because he is extremely sweet and naive. The contrast and contradiction makes Olaf a very lovable character, right? So I have put this word sweet, oops, and this word naive um, as um, sort of saying, hey, this is what I'm learning through this song, right? We think we take it for granted that we just love Olaf, but there's a reason we love Olaf, Olaf and we want to figure that out. As an audience members, we know that he will melt because most, but because this is a Disney movie, it will most likely have a happy ending and he will get what he wants. So I have a prediction. I, I um, kind of explain why he felt this way or how does this shape or change the character. Um, so um, in this sense, it's a little bit more of the shape. Um, so anyway, um, this kind of gives us just a little bit of insight into Olaf and into the story. This is what contrast and contradictions are meant to do. It's to help us sort of understand characters and understand their decision-making and understand how authors build a story.